For our students, they do find it challenging to participate in sport. A lot of after-school clubs aren't an option for some of our children just because of the nature of their needs. Sometimes clubs aren't inclusive enough. Because we're a special needs school, the way our school is made up, girls are a minority in terms of numbers within their class, often one girl to 10, 11 boys in the class. Well, I was looking at the data in 2019 and saw that they were underperforming the boys in PE, whereas other subjects, they weren't underperforming. So then we looked at reasons why they might be disengaging with PE, and it's quite an obvious one, that there are only one girl in the class. So we decided to bring all the girls in the school together. From the first session onwards has been amazing. They all really enjoy it, they perform at a much higher level, and that's been going on now since 2019. By having softball cricket come in, it's been really great for those children to experience a different sport. I think it's how the coaches modify the sessions. So with the softball in particular, we've got a nice softball. If children struggle to hit the ball, we've got batting tees, so they can still hit the ball, and that just gives them a great opportunity, really. Don't, don't, don't pass the middle. Oh. I think without the funding to do this, then the, the danger is that these young people wouldn't compete in sport. Compared to our mainstream peers, our children don't compete in our squat activities, they don't play on weekends, so it's really important that we get the opportunity to compete within the school week, within a sport that's accessible, to have the opportunity to be part of a team.